this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. This time I'm trying out the brand new hero pack of Wasp. And I'm playing against Green Goblin Mutagen Formula on standard difficulty. Wasp hero pack comes with the aggression pre-built deck, so I'm playing that. So if you want to know more about the pre-built deck, check out my uh, hero pack focus on Wasp and see what cards come in the hero pack but other than that i won't go into much detail in this video about the deck so let's get started i have pre-shuffled the deck so let's draw our opening hand of six cards okay so we get the surprise attack iron heart in particles, strength, line uh, weight, and into the fray. I think into the fray is okay at the start because we need to kill off the goblin troll and we can just uh, kill it and thwart the two away. So I think you do it with those. Then we uh, will go to tiny form, so we draw a card with the pin particles. And then we have a choice to play a line weight and or iron heart or something. But I think I'm just keeping the whole hand, no pointing, uh, thinning out the deck. So. I will just flip to tiny version. Then uh, I could kill the troll with this, but I want to get rid of the threat too. So just uh, overkill with this. And I'll draw a card with the pin particles. Well, that's really good. Now we have a uh, Cards to play Iron Heart and Line Weight, so we did uh, we defeat the Goblin Troll and uh, into the fray, deal six damage to a minion for each point of excess damage dealt by this attack. Remove one threat from the main scheme, so uh, we get rid of that threat also. And uh, because we defeated an enemy, a minion uh, or a side scheme side scheme uh, with an event or wasp we can deal one damage to the villain next i think i'm playing uh, iron heart so i'm using the power in all of us and iron heart throws us one more card he gets swarm tactics which isn't that useful i'll use the swarm tactics to play line weight and uh, I think that's about what I'm going to play. So I think Wasp and Iron Heart both will hit Green Goblin. And that is my hero turn. So we draw back up to five. Ready up. Actually, I'm keeping the support rise attack in hand so we draw in four we get giant help genius in particles and pinpoint strike so that was the hero phase let's go to the villain phase now we add a threat to the main scheme uh, green goblin attacks i won't defend so i'll take it with wasp so wasp uh, well, Green Goblin hits for 2 plus 2, so 4 damage. And we have to add 1 threat to the main scheme. Then we get an encounter card, and it's Shadows of the Past, so we right away get Beetle in the play. That's not that nice. Also, we get uh, Mother's Orders. So, Mother's Orders forces us to pay our resource every time we want to attack with our basic attack 
and beetle is a one scheme one attack minion with guard and four health so we really need to defeat beetle right away so we can start keep on damaging green goblin and that is the villain phase let's go to the next hero phase okay let's see how we can deal with this board setup now oh yeah uh, we could actually have triggered the line wait but i think that's not necessary i'll just save it i know there are a lot of uh, three health minions that can just get defeated by that lion weight, so I won't uh, use it on beetle. So I'm thinking of playing the pinpoint strike and using uh, pin particles and genius plates. So uh, we deal seven damage plus one damage also because we are in tiny form, and this also gains overkill. So we did four damage here, and that uh, deals one damage to Green Goblin, and we overkill four damage here. Then we draw a card from the Pin Particles, we get Wasp Sting. I'm actually thinking, should I... So that wasn't a basic attack. I'm thinking should I get rid of the mother's orders or just ignore it? Uh, we could play giant help. So I'll flip to uh, giant form. And I will play giant help with the surprise attack and watch this thing. And because I'm in giant hero form, I re can remove 4 threat and split the removal as I choose. So I'll remove 2 from here and 2 from here. So we get rid of mother's orders. Then I think I'm just attacking for 2. And uh, I'm keeping iron heart for blocking. I'm not attacking with Iron Heart, so that is our turn. We draw back up to five. Uh, a big difference I noticed uh, when I was looking at the cards for the first time is that even in giant form, Wasp has a hand size of five, and instead, Antman has only a hand size of four in giant form. Okay, so we get the boot camp, we get Wasp into the fray, boot camp and the power of aggression and noteworthy is that we ha can have the wasp in play because these wasps are different subtitles and uh, let's go to the villain phase we add a threat to the main scheme bring up in attacks iron heart will defend and get defeated encounter card is assault I think I'm just defending with uh, Wasp. So 2 plus 1. An additional boost card. And we put the Copper and Thrall in play. But I'll trigger the line weight. So this gets defeated. Okay. After a minion engages me. Okay, so that works out. So we didn't take any damage so we don't have to add any threat to the main scheme and that was the villain phase let's go to the next hero phase there isn't much i can play this turn so i'll just play what i can so i'll use the boot camp and the power of aggression to play the other boot camp just put it over here so boot camp on, uh, gives my allies plus one attack. Then I think I'm just playing Wasp and not doing anything. So I'll uh, use one energy resource to play Wasp. So we put one pin particle on Wasp. So 
she has one health, one hit point, and it's basically a one use for damage attack at this point, but it is what it is, so I think I'm just ending my hero turn here, so I'll ready up. He draw back up to five, we get another boot camp, we get Ant-Man, Spider-Man, Wasp Sting and Wasp's Helmet. We go to the villain phase, we add a threat to the main scheme. Green Goblin attacks, I'll defend with Wasp, uh, the hero Wasp, and uh, after this activation ends, shuffle this card into the encounter deck, so we take 4, uh, minus 3, so 1, but that adds 1 threat to the main scheme, and we shuffle this uh, monster back into the encounter deck. Then we get an encounter card. Uh, regenerative healing. Uh, the villain heals X damage where X is equal to double the villain stage number, so we heal two damage. And that is the villain phase, so let's go to the next hero phase. For this turn, I think I will just. I, I could play Miles Morales, Spider Man. Uh, with him in play, we can hit for 5, and then Wasp can hit for 4, we go to stage 2, and then we can go to Alter Ego to heal. I think that's the plan. That, that will advance, but I think we need to advance. And then we get the encounter card, so it's better to be an Alter Ego, so we don't get uh, multiple attacked. So let's start by playing the uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. I'll use uh, Bootcamp, uh, Wasp's Helmet. I think I'll keep Wasp's Helmet. I'll use Wasp's Thing and Ant-Man to play Spider-Man. Then uh, uh, I'll just hit with Wasp and Wasp gets defeated. Deal 4 damage. And that's because of the boot camp. Then uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales hits for five, and that's because when uh, he enters play, I can add uh, attack or thwart. So I'll add uh, add attack. So with the boot camp, the attack is five, and we advance to stage two. So, Green Goblin has 18 hit points. And we get to encounter cards when Green Goblin Sedge 2 is revealed. And I'll flip to Alter Ego. Then I'll use the girl action. So I'll shuffle two cars with the mental uh, icon, mental resource icon in them into the deck. And I'll put uh, pinpoint strike. And uh, I think genius is a good one. But let's see if there's anything better. Uh, we could put Wasp Sting, for example, but I think the double resource is good. So we'll shuffle Pinpoint Strike and Genius into the deck. So there are all of the Pinpoint Strikes in the deck, which will make defeating Green Goblin much easier. And even if we get some guard minions, we can just Pinpoint strike through them. I think I'm keeping the helmet. We draw back up to six. I'm ready up first. Get surprise attack, power of aggression, and two pinpoint strikes. We still need to draw one more card 
I need this into the fray. Okay, well, into the fray could be good, and depending on how much Green Goblin uh, schemes for this turn. So we add one threat to the main scheme, going into villain phase. Uh, two plus one is three, so we just barely, unfortunately, advance. We put the. Uh, let's check. Um, usually forget something when I'm flipping this. Yeah, there's nothing happening. So we just put this into play. Then it starts to play with four threat on it. Then we get encounter cards. First one is we get ambitions. We discard X cards from the encounter deck where X is equal to double the villain stage number. If the time goblin minion discarded this way, choose to either take three damage or put that minion into play engage with you. Uh, so, so we discard four cards. Not a minion, not a minion, not a minion, and monster, and I'll just take three damage. I don't want the uh, monster to come into play. Yeah, we should be ready. Then we get pumpkin bombs. Just put it on this side. Then another <laughs> pumpkin bomb. So a lot of pumpkin bombs coming my way, which isn't nice. And I think that is the villain phase, so let's go to the next hero phase. I think we are just trying to burn out Green Goblin this uh, uh, from now on. So I'm first healing for 3 damage. Just so I have something to soak the pumpkin bombs with. Then uh, I'm using the uh, ability on Nadia Van Dime, the girl ability. Um, we want more punchy cards, so I'll put Wasp Sting and uh, the other one could be another Wasp Sting so that we have all of our damage dealing cards so we can burn down Ring of Link fast. We'll flip to Tiny version. Then I think I'm going to point strike. Uh, first, I'll use the Wasp's helmet to surprise attack, and it's a strength resource, so I'll deal four damage. Then we do the pinpoint strike. So I'll use into the fray the power of aggression and not a pinpoint strike to play the pinpoint strike. I deal eight damage. And uh, then um, Spider-Man will hit for 3 damage. So, we just need to survive for the next turn and hope to get a damaging event or something like that. Let's see. We drop up to 5. We get Genius, Surprise Attack, Pinpoint Strike line weight and rapid growth, so now we just need to survive. Uh, we add a threat to the main scheme, Green Goblin attacks, uh, Spider-Man will defend and get defeated. Then these pumpkin bombs will trigger, so we'll take 4 damage. Okay, and the encounter card is a beetle mania. Beetle attacks you with plus one attack. If no attack was made this way, this card can search. So beetle is not in play, so it can search. And we get a goblin troll. So I think we are able to defeat Green Goblin next turn. But let's go to the next hero phase and see how we end the game. So to defeat Green Goblin, we need to first kill off the troll. I just 
change into giant form. Then I can play surprise attack. And I'll just play it with rapid growth. So we deal 3 damage to this Copperlin Troll. Then I'll use Genius and Line Wait to play Pinpoint Strike. And we deal 7 damage to Green Goblin. Defeating Green Goblin. So that was Wasp uh, with the pre built aggression deck against Green Goblin on standard. Standard difficulty in the mutagen formula scenario, and I think the power level of this deck is up there so much that you could try this on experts. But for the sake of this uh, first play video, I decided to keep it on a standard difficulty. I'm liking Wasp a lot, not maybe that much as Antman, but uh, Wasp plays quite differently, even though it's a three sided hero like Ant-Man. Uh, I'm really excited with uh, to include the, the new aspect cards that came in uh, Wasp Hero Pack for the other aspects. So I think next time I'm playing Wasp I'm trying out one of the other uh, aspects on her and trying to defeat something on expert difficulty after some deck building, but yeah, this was the first play for me for Wasp on uh, the pre-built deck, so hope you guys liked the playthrough, thanks for watching, and until next time.